So you're interested in enrolling at Durham Tech? Let me show you how. So if you go to our website, on our landing page is an apply button. If you select that option, another screen appears giving you the steps to apply. The first thing you should do is choose a program that fits your career and professional goals. Durham Tech offers associate degrees, diplomas, and certificates. If you are challenged with accessing the information on the website and would like to speak with someone in person, please visit us at the Student Resource Center. The next step in this process is to complete an application. This is a very important step because we have to create a record for you in our system. The application can be accessed through cfnc.org. Included in this application is a sub-application for the Residency Determination Service. These two applications must be completed and are important to the enrollment process. Please be aware that you must provide your residency certification number on your application that you submit to the college. After you submit your information to the college, you will receive an email response once your application has been processed. The email will contain information that will help establish your accounts here at the college. Once your accounts are established, we want you to complete your Connect session. The Connect session is our orientation to the college. It provides information for new students about services we offer, how to access technology, and how to connect with your advisor. After you complete the Connect session, the next important step is to apply for financial aid. If you are interested in applying for financial aid, you should go to studentaid.gov and complete the free application for federal student aid. On this application, you will be asked to provide Durham Tech's school code. That school code is 005448. Please be aware that if you land on a website and they're asking you to pay for a fee for your application, you are not on the proper website. The next important step that you will have to follow is to submit your official transcripts to the college. It's important that if you are a current high school student applying to start as a recent graduate, that you provide us with an official transcript of your high school coursework. This can also be submitted to the college if you are a North Carolina public high school student. If you have completed coursework at a university or college and are transferring to Durham Tech, we will need an official copy of your transcript with current final grades of coursework in order to determine placement. Finally, one of the most important steps is to determine placement. To become eligible to register for courses at the college, you have to satisfy some prerequisites for certain coursework. This can be accomplished is by providing a U.S. high school transcript, ACT or SAT scores, a GED since 2014, with scores of 145 or higher on all four GED subject tests, or if you completed the high set, a score of 15 on all five high set subtests and a four on the essay. Another important step is submitting proof of placement through document submission. We require students to submit official documentation to the college. That means your document must be provided to the college via a third party approved agency. You have several options to submit documents to the college. You can provide them electronically, or you can drop them off at the Wind Center, building number 10 on our main campus at the Welcome Desk, or at our Orange County campus at the front desk. If you're submitting documents electronically, you can use our secure electronic document submission system. Please make sure that when you're submitting your document, your name, a valid email address, and digital copies of the documents are in PDF, JPEG, TIFF, GIF, and PNG format. You'll have to sign in to the document portal system. You need to make sure that your Durham Tech accounts are activated. For more information, please visit the electronic document submission page on our website. In order to receive admitted status to the college, you have to submit official transcripts. If you do not have a high school transcript or any test scores, you should prepare to take the placement exam. You can visit our website with information on when those exams are offered, and we do offer both in-person and online testing. The last step in the process to be registered involves meeting with an academic advisor. As a new student, you will have an advising hold on your record. In order for that hold to be lifted, you must meet with an academic advisor. To meet with an academic advisor virtually, 
you can email advising at durhamtech.edu and request to set up a meeting with an advisor. During this advising session, you will have the opportunity to engage with us to determine what schedule best fits your need. During the conversation with your advisor, you can provide information about what classes best meets your specific needs. For instance, if you know that you are a type of learner that likes direct contact with your instructor, then you may want to consider face-to-face -face courses. However, we also have online courses available for, for students who are looking for that opportunity. There are also courses that are designed as hybrid coursework, which would involve an online and a face-to-face -face component. Many of our science courses are offered through a hybrid model. Although there are several steps to get started and register for classes, we're here to support you through that process. Feel free to visit us online and connect with us via chat or come to the Student Resource Center.